welcome back to Shem's Universe. So today, guys, we're going to discuss Chapter 5 of The Magic of Thinking Big. So it's titled, How to Think and Dream Creatively. So in regards to that, um, there's a lot of different people that will say different things. They'll say some people are really nihilistic. They'll say, be, um, be very realistic with your goals, uh, develop a system or plans, but don't like dream of like big fantasies that can never come true. Then other people say quite the opposite, like, oh, just go for the moon maybe or go for the stars maybe you'll hit the moon there's all these other sayings it's all kind of low-key garbage not gonna lie um, but here's the truth though chapter 5 of this book explains everything you need to know in four simple steps and I'm gonna read them off but I'm also going to explain each one as I go so step one believe it can be done if you actually legitimately believe something can be done you can adamantly tell people this is what I'm gonna do this is how I'm gonna do it you don't even really need to tell them the plan but if you in your mind know what you're gonna do and how you're gonna do it and you really and truly believe in that situation, your plan, your purpose, your vision, your system that you're gonna utilize, you're not gonna lose because you actually have belief in it and that belief is gonna to lead to more creativity. When you have negative thoughts, that leads to low frequency energy. When you have low frequency energy, you cannot actually manifest anything. You need to have high frequency energy in order to manifest the things that you want. So the main thing in that is confidence. That's why you discussed confidence before in the previous chapter because you need to have that confidence in order to use this chapter's steps. You need to have the confidence in order to actually believe in a purpose or a vision or a goal and then actually penetrate that into reality where it is. The next one is eliminate the word impossible. So step two, that's where it is. Eliminate the word impossible. When people think about impossible, they're always like, oh, getting the NBA is impossible. Going to UFC is impossible. Um, becoming a famous dancer is impossible. Becoming social media famous is impossible. All these things are considered impossible, but there's other people that view it as possible and then they go and do it. And then we have the audacity to criticize them and say, oh, they just got lucky or they don't deserve this or that. But it's like, yes, they do because they did X, Y, Z to get certain results. Whereas we are not really believing it from step one. We're believing the word impossible. So our frequency and our energy is very, very negative. We're not actually in the proper frequency, the, the right mind frame to actually manifest and achieve things. All right. So step three is be an experimental person. Most people that are successful become successful by accident. You're going to say, what, what do you mean by that? People that become successful end up doing so because of some real big tragedy. Something horrible happens. You get fired from your job. You get screwed over by a friend or family. Something is going to happen that's going to click something in your brain that in turn is going to make you have a pivotal moment in your life and change the direction of things. So in regards to that, if you're an experimental person, you actually do believe in trial and error. Because everybody that is successful has to fail a bunch of times. If you ever knew, is anybody familiar with like an example I always like to use is Floyd Mayweather champion boxer when he was 18 he's literally bleeding on his nose just broken nose talking about how he's going to be champion that was a loss that he was taking when he was sparring he was getting beat up every single day to get better if you look at your life like that if you can get beat up every single day and still get up get back at it take your loss and just keep going turn that loss into a lesson you'll inevitably win because you're always going to keep having a plan having that purpose and not really redefine the purpose but maybe switching at your lane and getting it switching the direction the way in which it's going so that's the thing but you have to be experimental. You have to try one plan that doesn't work, try another plan that doesn't work, but always keep the same purpose, but try different plans. And eventually one will work. I know that sounds very like, oh, far distance off, but that's the truth. Sometimes it can happen in one year, sometimes it can happen in five, sometimes it can happen in 10. It depends on what exactly your goal is and everybody's an individual. Everybody, that's gonna specify differently for anybody. That's the thing, all right? The last one is be progressive, not regressive. A lot of us tend to like look at our failures and just look at it like, wow, I failed in this. I effed up, blah, 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 and then don't end up doing anything going forward. You have to be progressive, meaning like, okay, I effed up in this, what's next? I didn't accomplish this, okay, what's next? It, it's the only way to get it to it. Like if you have a fitness goal and you have, if you're overweight and you plan on losing weight in one month, like 10 pounds, you only lost two pounds, or maybe you gained five, you gotta switch your plan. But you can't regress and say, oh, well, last month I didn't do it, so blah, blah, blah. No, stick with the same goal, 10 pounds, Maybe mitigate it to five if, if that's what you think and then actually be progressive about it. Switch your diet and switch the workout that you're doing. Be more progressive. Be progressive with all your plans and your vision and always just understand that your vision is there. It's in your mind, but it's just your responsibility to manifest it. All right. So that's it for chapter five, guys. Um, if you have any questions whatsoever on that, please just let me know. Leave it in the comments for me. Aside from that, like, subscribe, all at me. That's it.